Hi, I'm Amy from Homeschool in the Woods. If there's anything that we talk about a lot of, it is living the lessons. And what better way to do it than through dress up. So, what I'm gonna to talk to you about is a few ways that you can actually build on your collection of dress up clothes. Now, all of our project passports and our time travelers as well, usually include some type of dress up ideas. And in, in the project passports, we have a lot of patterns and things too on how to do that. But in the meantime, you can start building up your supply just by going and visiting Goodwill, checking out um, after at the uh, after like October, after Halloween, getting some costumes that way. But this is the best way because you can really take different pieces of clothing and turn them into other things. So, for example, if you're studying early American history and you want to have uh, a pilgrim or a pioneer, a lot of times you're going to need some type of a tall skirt or long skirt. Now, this can actually this is big. So your little child's not gonna be able to fit in this, but if you get a knee-length skirt in the women's department, that's gonna end up being a long skirt to your child. This with a blouse, and you've got an outfit put together, but what really takes it home is when you add to it an apron, which is around here somewhere, here we go. The apron, which can turn anything into like a pioneer type outfit. And also, something as simple as a shawl, and just by having a rectangular or square piece of fabric, and folding it in half and wrapping it around your, sh your shoulders, you're going to kind of develop that look right along with the apron. And now you've really put yourself in an era. For the boy, simply taking a shirt that has a pattern or colors that are similar to an era, and often if you can find the short collar ones, these ones work really well. Take a pair of pants, cut them off at the knees, and use knee top, knee length white socks and that'll give that look of knickers. And you can really top it off with suspenders too, which you might be able to find at Goodwill as well. Now, here's an example of a piece that is from our American Revolution uh, time traveler, and it's called a haversack. Very simple stitching. If there's any stitching involved, I am not a seamstress, but I will keep it simple, and this is an example of it. And it can be used for the Revolutionary Soldier or also the Civil War Soldier as well. So this was commonly used. Another place to go is Army Navy Surplus. And here's an example of a Navy outfit that was uh, purchased there. Or even hats, a lot of times you can find hats to go with them. There's Army coats, there's camouflage, there's all kinds of things that you can find in Army Navy Surplus to go with it. And then you can easily turn this into a little bit more fun by finding props. Like if you go to the dollar store or something, you'll often find things like walkie-talkies and it just kind of finishes it off. Another thing for Goodwill, back to the American Revolution again, is if you can find a blouse that has a lot of frills on it, and quite often back in the 80s they used to have these type of things that went folded down the front. And this really can give a look for a founding father or someone that was just of a position like that during the revolution. Or even ancient France, you know, in, in, um, during France or any of those times as well over in Europe, European history. Here's another one that would work well for European history if you're studying Shakespeare. We used to call these poet blouses. And what you're looking for are big flouncy sleeves, ruffles, things like that, and you can actually pull off a really good Shakespearean play. Um, another thing is to look into the prom dresses. Now this one is one that my granddaughter just loves. I can never get her out of it when she's over here. It's just a simple prom dress and um, it can pull off a very re um, renaissance look or medieval look with it. Um, also, Again, another prop. This is actually just a plastic vase that we found that was used for floral things. It had the green foam in it, but it makes a great goblet from the Middle Ages. Try looking into hats, too, because you want to accessorize sometimes, and that can really make the outfit, whether it be a mob cap or a bonnet or even just a plain, simple hat that gets used like a farmer or, again, pilgrim or anything pioneer, westward movement, stuff like that. So. Now here's something that we did for Native Americans where we took and created, and I'm going to have all kinds of stuff in here for, 
this is one thing you do want to watch for is how to keep things from getting all tangled up. Anyway, all right, this is a real video, guys. So this is just taking a piece of canvas, painting on it with puff paint, some, uh, you know, probably gonna wanna look into some of the different um, patterns of the different tribes, and then just stitching a piece of ribbon to the top, or even gluing, you can use hot glue for that. And here is just an example we had studied um, Native Americans, the Mohawks, and by just creating a headpiece with cardstock and gluing felt on it and some uh, feathers at the top. The main thing was there were big feathers that went with this and that described the Mohawk um, tribe. So and another cool thing is to get moccasin kits. They're available all over and they also teach your kids some cool skills and how to stitch together something like this, which is not hard to do. All right, so again, check out our uh, links below. We're going to have links to our Project Passports and our Time Travelers, and you can take a look at the photos on our website and see some more options for dress up as well. Thank you for watching. Ignite a love of learning in your child and be sure to do it hands-on. For more helpful tips and ideas to encourage you in your homeschool journey, like this video and be sure to subscribe to our channel.